Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. I'm so glad you're back with me. We are finishing up our 21 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry unboxing. And we are, I think, on our third episode. We are probably, I hope, going to finish the first bag of the two big bags in the box. And this first bag had a lot of metallic pieces in it. The next bag seems to have more necklaces and pieces of stone and things like that. So that'll be exciting. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing and click the bell so you'll be right there when I post that next video opening that other bag of jewelry. And you also might want to click the bell so that if you see something you like, you will be able to email me before someone else and hopefully you'll get that piece that you've loved, fallen in love with, okay? So thanks, ding ding, click the bell. Also, a quick little rundown of how you purchase jewelry. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Please include the video name and episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, brief description of those pieces, and the prices that were given. So thanks so much. Okay, let's get busy. First we have, I think we might have looked at some of these um, at one point or another, maybe during the untangling. We did an untangling video that you can go back and watch, which was fun, but we didn't actually look at the pieces in detail. So we have this brooch that's the letter M. It's in wonderful condition. I do think I see a mark on there. Looks like an AK for Ann Klein. Yes, I believe it's an Anne Klein M brooch. Very pretty. It measures uh, about an inch and a half. And if that's for you, the gold tone is in great shape. And I will say $6 on that. Okay, and these we saw on another video, but I took them up aside and cleaned them up really well. They are quite stunning. They are gigantic door knocker earrings in a silver tone metal. And they cleaned up very, very well. And they are by Essex. There's your signature right there. That was the best I could get. It's a little bit of color left, but overall they came out really terrific. And they are really stunning. That's quite a statement pair of earrings for sure. I have pretty big hands, so Sometimes my hand is not the best thing to go by because my hands are bigger than a lot of men's hands. They're, I have long fingers. So let me just take a little measurement on the side. They are, yeah, they're two inches this way. So that's how big they are. They have good weight to them and they're designer. So I'm gonna say 40 on these giant beauties. I hope you love them. Okay, next is this, I think you call these a cha-cha necklace. I have seen them before. I had a bracelet like this and I couldn't figure out what it was for the longest time. It does not magnet. Where'd my magnet go? He's hitchhiking somewhere. I know you're hitchhiking, where are you? Yep, he's stuck to my scissors. Oh boy, got it. So it doesn't magnet at all. Oh. Okay, it magnets a little bit. Um, it doesn't up here. I don't know if this is pewter. We have a subscriber recently that sent me some information about pewter and it was really fantastic. Um, it was so much information that I really have to digest it for a while. So I'm not sure if that's what this metal is or not. When I did do a test, it does not test as sterling but it also doesn't have any copper or anything like that under it. So that's this one. There's no clasp. There was a little bit of a sort of a clasp, but it doesn't come undone. However, it is long enough to go over the head. It's very weighty. I don't really know much about this kind of jewelry. So I'll just give it a measure. It's 28 inches long. Let me know in the comments if you know what this is. Probably a, a dancing sort of cha-cha jewelry, but this is $5. Okay, next we have this absolutely stunningly gorgeous 
bracelet and I did see this in the untangling so I took it aside and I tried everything to find out who it is. It is like you see in the Hollywood movies when the guy hands the woman a brand new diamond bracelet and she just you know, she takes it like that and you see it just slink on her hand. It's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. They don't make them like this anymore. They just don't. There's no marks anywhere. I'm thinking it's an unsigned designer piece because you just can't have a beautiful bracelet like this made in this incredible detail with the safety chain and not be a designer. I just, I don't know. So I really am frustrated, don't know who it is, don't know what to ask, and I want to price things right for you guys. I don't want to ask too much, don't want to ask too little. Look at the stones that are on the clasp right here as well. It's just stunning. So all I can do is put this aside and talk to you on email about it. Hopefully some of you will love me enough to share with me what you think of it. Um, and yeah, maybe that would help. It's so gorgeous, all prong set, need I say any more, and just beautiful. Oh, if you did need to know the measurement, it measures probably a perfect seven inches. Oh, it's just stunning. The way that it moves, the way it's constructed, they did not cut any corners. So I don't want to belabor it, but you know how sometimes they'll hook maybe four or five rows of these together and then they'll put them together? Well, each row of rhinestones is its own, so that's why it moves beautifully. So let me know what you think. Do you know who this maker is? I'd love to know. Okay, next we have this very beautiful gold tone necklace. It has some green and some blue acrylic, um, acrylic, acrylic. I'm just losing it right now. Like the paint is acrylic, right? Yes, I think so. It's got blue and green. It's sort of an equestrian style looking necklace. And I want to get all the way to the clasp so I can show that to you. Here it is. It has a large lobster clasp. I don't know the era of this. I'm still learning about jewelry quite a bit. But it's a nice long necklace. I move these other guys out of the way. Very long. It's super nice quality. You just have to sort of fiddle with it a minute and flip these around. And it's beautiful. So if you like that, really got good weight to it. It's 30 inches long, and I will say $15 on this beautiful gold necklace with the enamel. Next is this brooch. The finish on it is not that great. I do still think it's an oldie, and it's got a textured finish. But it's just not the greatest you know, gold tone on it. So I'll just say $2 on that. Another great find in this is this brooch. I do already have it pinned to the paper. And I had to look for quite a while at this marking. I want to be able to show it to you because I want you to learn what it is as well. And it's St. John's. Let's see, where is it on this side? Okay, let me get the loop so I can intelligently tell you where it is. There it is, okay. So it's right here, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Looks like any other texture. But this is an S and a J for St. John's, there you go. And this is quite a beautiful brooch. I did research them, they go for about $100 at least. It's called a Maltese cross. Some of them are all white, some are black and white, different colors. Um, I'm finding that the vintage jewelry, so far at least on my channel, isn't selling terrifically well. But 
let me just give a price and if it's too much or you don't like it then I'll just throw it over on eBay because it's in very good condition um, I will say 75 on this and it's got the faux pearls that are Baroque style so quite a beautiful brooch I'm happy with that one next we have this necklace has some beautiful some beautiful things about the way they made it so it made me think this must be something because those crystals on the end are just not your everyday crystal they look like like a stunning um swarovski or something and i'm not sure about the bumblebee maybe it's a trademark of the company but it is called fornash if you know anything about that let me know i do know that they they sold well, and I'm going to say $20, because I can't remember what they sold for. But the crystals on the end are just firing. They're just catching the light incredibly. So I hope you like that. Oh, let me give you a measurement. And it measures 16 inches on a toggle clasp right there. Okay, what else have we got? We have this lovely looks like a type of a flower i don't know why i want to say lotus flower because i don't know my flowers very well but it is kind of bent right here let me see if it's supposed to curve like that mm, probably not i can see it bent right here and i don't want to force it so i'm going to say if someone wants to gently try to fix that we'll say five dollars on that got some beautiful texture to it and it's quite old so that's nice okay who else is in here oh boy this reminds me of a goldette piece so this is multi-chain wow this is pretty and the chains feel very very nice they feel very quality does have a large lobster clasp and the plating is very nice doesn't seem to have any wear on it nice extender so if you like the tassel look this is gorge the chains wrap around in a solid panel wow that's really pretty maybe we should put it on our neck even though it's kind of long and it's a little bit tangled Maybe we can at least get a, you know, get a look at what it would look like hanging on the neck. So, hmm, don't want to fiddle too long with you, but I do want it to hang nicely. Okay, oops, my phone's making noise at me. Here, let's do this. Undo this guy. I already did my untangle video. We don't want to do one again. At least not on the same pieces. You know what I probably said on that video was, um, probably untangled it and said, oh, I'll untangle the rest of it another time. <laughs> and then another time didn't come. And I probably put it aside and had a million other things to do. I think I am really making a mess of this. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got it a little bit better. Multi-chain, does have many different types of chains, some curb links, some beautiful tiny little delicates, and even some like dot dash type chains in there, and Rolo. Really pretty, very slinky. Let's put it on our neck and see how it looks. It's long, so I'm going to have to pull it back a little because our neck is a bit short. But here we go. Wait a minute. What's going on? Who are you? What's going on with our neck today? What's that? Your buster? Your buster the neck. Well, my goodness, at least we finally have a name. Buster the bust. I love it. Hey, buster, what's happening, dude? 
Okay, Buster, show us this necklace and a long tassel. <laughs> See what I mean about the lay down Buster? It's, um, it's really hard to show the whole necklace as it hangs down, but I think you get an idea. It's quite long. Wow, Buster, we're so glad to finally have a name. Welcome to the crazy jewelry family. Say hi to everyone. Oh my gosh, that's great. Okay, let me give this a measure for you. It is 26 inches, and then the tassel goes to about nine or 10 inches. It's lovely. And I would say $8 on that. Okay, what do we have? We have a gold tone costume ring. Everything could always use a little polish when it's been donated to a thrift store, so. Not seeing any maker on this. Oh, yes, I am. Spoke too soon. It says Monet inside with the little script writing. So that's a good one and has the copyright. I think that means that it's 1955 or something. Could be wrong, but that's, I'd have to go back and check. It's gorgeous. It's got that beautiful gold plating that Monet has. I think they have extra gold plating on their jewelry, if I remember that correctly. And I'm looking for the ring. Here it is, ring sizer. Nice, beautiful, chunky piece in really good condition. And it is size, so on a wide band, you want to take the measure about the middle of it. I would say it's about a six and a half to six and three quarters. Now, I'm a six and three quarter, let's see. Because this is really wide and I want it to fit you. I'm six and three quarter and that would be feeling like it would be tough to get on and off. So let's say six and a half, just to be safe. Beautiful Monet costume ring. $12 on that. Okay. Next up is a pair of cufflinks that are adorable kitty cats. Oh, they are so cute. They have open, open work for the eyes. They're silver tone and black. Uh, might sound obvious, but sometimes on certain cameras something can look gold or silver. So let me see if I can give you up close. See how the eyes are open? So they're pretty big cufflinks. If you look at them this way, don't know a lot about cufflinks. I am not seeing any markings. Sometimes the marking will be on the other side here. Not seeing anything, but let me give you an idea of the size of them. They are pretty big. So that's cool. Very, very different. Great novelty. Have no idea what these things go for. I know Rachel on Lily Works does cufflinks and she, she's very knowledgeable about them. So I'm just gonna say 15 on those. They are in good shape. So that's nice. Now, another thing that we found on one of our previous episodes was this beautiful long swirly brooch. And I meant to give it a polish because it really is nice. So just pretend that it's been polished. <laughs> but it's got this big swan swirly type design. Was it marked? I can't remember. It does need some cleaning. Let me take a peek with the loop and see if there's anything. Not seeing a mark on it, but the exciting part about it is, let's see, it would go this way, is that I found both matching earrings and they too are in really good condition. I love that shape of that clip-on when they have it that way. And I'm learning, I don't know how old it means when it's shaped that way, but it's exciting to have a pair of earrings. Let's see, they would go this way, clip upward, right? Yeah, clipping up on the ears this way, 
and then why would the brooch go that way? I would think it goes that way. Brooch and earrings matching set. That's my point, is it's gorgeous. And I guess you can decide how you want to wear it. But it's in wonderful condition. The whole set of three, I will say 22. Nice big brooch too, very, very big. So that's fun. This, oh yeah, this is that enamel cream color, just really art deco looking brooch. And this is sign too. This is a Monet piece. Oh, I love the back of that. Isn't that a great texture? That's really, really nice. So I always like to test the pin part for you, make sure it works and it's great. Another thing I need to learn pretty soon is these more round um, catches on the brooch. I want to learn what that means as far as dating them. But it's nice to know it's a Monet. It's enamel. It's in beautiful condition. Let me see if this is a little nick over here or if it's just a something that needs to be removed. Yes, there is a little tiny nick right here just for you to be aware in the metal. But it's a beauty, I will say, $12 on the Monet brooch. Very Art Deco looking, isn't it? Oh, what are we doing with Santa Claus? Mr. and Mrs. Santa. That's so cute. Oh, it is a pin. Little tiny Christmas pin. That's got some nice detail. It's almost like cloisonne with the metal and then filled in with enamel and then looks like there's a coating over the top. It looks nice, vintage. I have no idea what these go for, but I'm going to say $6. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now as for these earrings, I think we found one. It's hard to remember every detail, but I think they did magnet a bit. They do on the posts, so I would assume if someone's going to make sterling earrings, they're going to make the posts especially. But let me just make sure that's not the back of the earring that's magneting. So I'm taking the back off, and it does still magnet. But that's okay. It doesn't mean they're not gorgeous, because they are. This one has a little bit of a bend to it, which I'm sure can be fixed in a little tiny jiffy. It's nice soft metal. But the glass on here is beautiful. It's like an amber color with a little bit of an AB coating. I love the texture of the wires on there. They are pierced with the butterfly backs. And I would say $10. I mean, come on, $10 for those? They're gorgeous. Really beautiful. We have another pin? Yes, we do. What are you? Oh, the Hard Rock Cafe in Washington, D.C. So that's kind of collectible. These kind of things, I'm not sure how they'll sell on my channel, but they sell good on eBay because someone maybe had one and lost it or went there and never got one. So let me know what you think. I would say 12 on it. Now let's go $8 and we'll see if there's any interest. Hard Rock Cafe, Made in Taiwan, um, something creations. Okay. Lots of different things in the box. Now here is a brooch pin, tiny crown, and it does say something on the back. It says Hallmark. So would that be like the Hallmark card company? I'm not sure. It is gold tone, silver tone right here. It's a cutie, I'll say $3 on that. It's really well stamped in the back, like, you know, Looks like it's very nice quality. Then we have this little cat pendant that I think we found in our unboxing. It is marked CW, I think, or maybe M with a backward C. It's not sterling, but it's in great condition. If you love your cat and you need a little pendant, we'll say $2 on the kitty. Okay. Next up, can you stand it? Look at this bracelet. Not only 
is it linked individually like it's not stuck together in portions but but the um, strands are separate just for all that gorgeous movement so this is a light blue crystal bracelet and a silver tone and it is marked Weiss W-E-I-S-S -S, -S, I think two S's there you go I don't know if it's upside down let me see let me loop it and see yeah it goes this way so there's a little bit of wear right on the clasp it's going to the brass but oh my gosh is it gorgeous so Weiss is a brand that's really got a reputation. The pieces sell very, very well. Um, I have tried the clasp, everything works beautifully. And it's just a collectible piece. It's a small one though, isn't it? So it sits at, I'd say, six and a half to six and three quarters, right in between the two. It's stunning. It's a Weiss. It's never going to lose its value. And I don't know what to price it for. I would like to say 125 Let me know what you think. Again, I don't want to overprice, but I don't want to lose something that's valuable and can help me pay things back. But isn't it so beautiful? So that's that. A beautiful Weiss bracelet in blue. So exciting. Okay, what else? This is a brooch pin type thing. And yeah, I think I'm gonna put it in craft because there's some metal coming off. And I'm just not happy to look at those kind of things. <laughs> All right, what are you? Oh, this is one of those Georgian. Georgian. These sell pretty good. They're very desirable. Um, I have looked into them, and I think this necklace itself does sell pretty well. However, this has some wear on it. Now, I don't know if they're gold over sterling, but they're gold something. This has some wear. So let me have a look into this, see if it might be vermeil. Or you know what? I'm just going to say we'll just do $10 on it. And yeah we got to move along. I, I want to open the other bag of jewelry. So we'll do 10 on that. Just be aware that it has a little wear on it. And what are you? This is a moon glow type or cat eye effect uh, pendant. And it's an older one. It's in pretty good condition from what I can tell. Yes, it is. It's silver tone with a white sort of cat eye. And if you like that, I'm trying to think if I have some chains to put it on. I will say $5 for this without any chain. If you want a chain, let me know. Okay. Now, another exciting thing that happened was I saw this um, blue color gem in the bag when I was looking at the jewelry on shopgoodwill.com. However, there is a couple of necklace enhancers that looked like this too. So I, I thought we might have had three necklace enhancers, so I was holding off pricing those. However, these are not necklace enhancers. These are Christian Dior clip-on earrings. Aren't they stunning? So, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I love that color. And you know what? Let's turn on Miss Prissy because I don't know if these are like a blue topaz or, or what they are. And I don't know the price either. Maybe while she's heating up, I'll quickly go try to get a price. So, be back. Ding, ding. Click the bell. So the Christian Dior earrings um, in this color go in all kinds of prices. 250 those have more rhinestones on them. 
Um, let's see, 102. Some of them are just really way up there. Not seeing the exact pair, but the prices are, are what they should be for Christian Dior. So I'm not going to know what to ask for them on my channel. I apologize. I think the best thing I can do is put them on eBay and just see how they get bid up. And you're always welcome to go there and, and bid on them too. And as I get more experienced and I know what these things go for, then I'll be able to price them better on my channel. But I think it's really fun and exciting to share with you what came in the box. That's for sure. They're absolutely stunning. Whoops. And they have these crystal baguettes on the bottom. Those two square baguettes, which are lovely. They are glass. They're not blue topaz, and that's okay because that's what Christian Dior can do. They just know how to make it look stunning. So that's what I got in the box. And I will put them on there and see how they do. And you're always welcome to bid on them. Absolutely. And I do hope someone from my channel wins the bid. That would be really awesome. If you want to. If you want to. Okay. We have this very lovely vintage gold tone. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a nice, delicate chain. Looks like a napier, maybe. Let's see. Yes, it is a napier. Oh, that's gorgeous with the little, tiny, sort of long, elongated beads. Oh, it's just so nice. Feels like beautiful quality. Okay, we're going to have to ask Buster what he thinks. How it looks on Buster. I have to hold it up this way because it's a small one. Isn't that so classic? That's beautiful. I would think that would be gold if I just saw it. However, let me see. Is this a spot here to be worried about? You know I always want to sell you great things, so let me just see if this is going to come off easily. I might have to take it aside and do some cleaning on that part. I have a feeling it's going to come right off because it's already coming off. But I don't want to sell you something and have a maybe hanging over my head, okay? So I'll put this aside and see if that one spot can come out. And if you love it, just send me an email. I'll let you know if I got it out, okay? Put that to the side. Thank you, Buster, just the same. Okay, this is a beautiful big feather type brooch. Again, with that round sort of clasp that I'm very curious about. Like what era did they have the more round catches on the brooches? Not seeing a maker's mark, but oh my goodness. Look at all the crystals all the way in the stem all through the leaf and then there's a bigger one here let me just see if they're they're not prong set but it does look very well made wow that's an eye catcher for sure I'm not seeing any crystals missing and it's quite layered a little bit it's not completely flat so it's got some work to it it measures three and a half, a little more than three and a half inches, and I'm gonna say 15 on that. Beautiful brooch. Okay, now this earring is beautiful. It's stunning, but I only found the one. It does have the open back, which is very curious to me. Usually means it's, it's well made. I think they're all prong set. Let's have a peek. Yes, they're definitely all prong set, so it's so beautiful. I think it could easily be worn on a chain. Like you could just clip that down and wear it as a necklace. It would be stunning. Let's see if we see any of the Juliana type signs where there's puddling. Let me have a peek in the, in the loop. 
I would have to look at it for a time to know if it's one of those. It takes time to look at these things, but just for now, I'm gonna go ahead and give a price. If you wanna clip it on a chain, have a gorgeous necklace, I'd say $20 is a beautiful piece right there. I mean, it's come a long way. The red stone is really pretty. So I hope that's nice. I hope you like that. This is a beautiful, I don't know, Damascene? I would think so. It is um, filigree on the outer edges. Looks like a pendant to a necklace. And again, you know, things are vintage, so they're not going to be absolutely perfect. But look how nicely it cleans up. Wow. So that's very beautiful. Not seeing a mark anywhere. And I think all that comes off. It might be a little bit of a sticker or something. I have no idea about this. Oh, it does definitely magnets. Um, let, me, let me look close up with the loop and see. Hmm. Don't know. It's just pretty. So if you love it, I would say 15 on this. It's got nice weight to it and it does polish up nicely. And again, I have a lot of chains. If you want one, just send me a message. Okay, we have this came right in the box as well, a 1928 brooch. Isn't that adorable and sweet? Now, to make sure it is what they say it is, probably should have taken this off before, but, oh, there it goes. Yes, it is. Can you see the back? So that really is a 1928 brooch. 1928 brand, I should say, and their jewelry is always holds its value. It's a very good condition. Wow, this is a little fiddly. I don't want to mess with it too much, but isn't that so sweet and romantic? And I'm going to say 15 on that. They really hold the value. Okay, we're getting down there. I removed a layer of paper towel. I think we looked at this in our untangling. This is a very stunning statement piece for sure. And what have we got at Chico's? We sure do. Isn't that a beauty? That's a lot of metal. I love them. I love Chico's. The cording looks great, doesn't it? The extender. It's all in very good condition. This is so gorgeous. And think of how many Chico's pieces we've opened together in these unboxings. And I don't think we've ever got the same piece twice. That's saying quite a bit. What do you say about it, Buster? Oops, he's hanging on to it. He must like it. Wow, check that out. That's so beautiful. It certainly is heavy weight, you know? Okay, let's get a measurement on this, which is not gonna be easy over here. Um, it's 16 inches, and then you have, gosh, a good four inch extender. This is something. This is future vintage collectible. I'm gonna say 25 on this. It's just beautiful. I think it's worth that. I do anyway. If you don't or you do, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, what are you? Ooh, another Omega. Omega type chain. It is marked. The Limited. I haven't seen anything from the Limited in a long time. Um, I feel like we looked at this, but we're looking at it again. Gold tone, sort of a gunmetal, and then gold tone again. The chain is in very good condition. The extension is in great condition. And there's the back. Very nice piece from the Limited. It is about 18 inches and then, it, oh, it, let me see. Let me do that again, I'm sorry. 
yes, it's it's about 16 inches with a three inch extender. So I'll say $12 on that Omega limited necklace. We're really getting down there. We have a very big elephant pendant. It's full of little glass stones. If we test those. Yes, they are glass. And the eye is still there and you have the trunk up. That's a nice piece. I'm, I'm thinking it's not sterling. Doesn't give me sterling vibes, but you never know. Let me look at it with the loop and see. Yeah, I think it's sterling over, I mean, I think it's silver over copper. And it's just a nice, beautiful elephant. If you love it, I'd say $7 on that. He looks good over there with those pieces. Okay, now why do we have a torque? There must have been something in here to go on the torque. It's a very shiny, nice looking one. So let's see what else. We have another Omega type chain. I'm remembering some of this because of the untangling. Oh, it's a Lucky Brand. Nice, with a little crystal, a little Lucky Brand hang tag. But look at this, it's a slider. Isn't that cool? And there's the pendant. Wow, it's full of, um, what do I want to say? Smoky topaz crystals. Yeah. With the hammered silver tone. What a pretty piece. Now I'm thinking you must like this is the clasp so you wear it this way yeah i think so so that's that for a lucky brand piece it is very long it's 35 inches long wow pretty and i'll say 12 dollars on that this piece looks like i did do some testing on this and it is sterling silver and it says it a few times i like that on the oops on the older italian chains when they mark it on the clasp and on the other part how in the world did we get a knot in here it's a box chain with um, an older spring ring clasp all marked I must have tested if it says 925 on it. But I think with this necklace, the pendant wasn't sterling. Okay, come on, buddy. I think maybe the pendant wasn't. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, see how it magnets? So the pendant isn't. Let's see what maybe that stone in the middle is. It looks like um, amethyst, but I'm getting glass. So it is a sterling chain, not sterling pendant, beautiful purple stone inside. The chain measures 18 inches. It is very sweet. I mean, you could put your own pendant or you could wear it like this. And I'll say, 15 on the sterling silver necklace. Okay, what's left? We have some bracelets. A black enamel, sort of bamboo style. It is vintage, I'm not seeing a name. It's good quality. It's about seven and three quarters. And I'll say $4 on that. That looks lovely with that necklace, doesn't it? Wow. Still in my matchy-matchy. We have a red enamel bracelet. Very interesting scallop design. The enameling is very nice. Gold tone is nice as well. Not seeing a maker. 
And this has some weight to it. Oh, wow, it's a big one. It's eight and a half inches to almost eight and three quarters. Well, what do you think? Eight and a half? That's great. I like bigger bracelets myself. So I'm going to say $10 on that. It's got really good quality weight to it. And it's nice to find it in that size. Okay, what are you? This says something on it. You can probably see it before me. Ooh, it's a goldette. It's a vintage goldette that's actually silver tone. Ooh, I wonder what these go for. It has, you know, different sections and then it comes connected together again. Lovely textures to it. Obviously the fold over clasp, but I think it's flipped over. I think it's supposed to go the other way. Let me see, I wanna be careful with this. Yeah, I would think it opens here. Oh, it's really on there good. Okay, let me see what I can do with this. Ding, ding, click the bell. Okay, I got it. I just had to take the scissor and open it. I think there was too much pressure on it because for some reason it was flipped over backwards. But isn't that so sweet? It has like a little buckle there and all that texture to it. It's so like... I don't know, so cowboyish, so Roy Rogers to me. <laughs> so that's the clasp. It does open now that it's going the right way. So vintage goldette. Wow, this is a new one to me. Um, let's measure it. It's seven inches. Oh boy, um, I'll say 20 and we'll see what you think. So pretty. We have a very chunky chain bracelet. Has a little stretch running through. That's nice looking too. It's in pretty good shape. It sits at six and it sits at seven inches. And let's see. It just has a little stretch, but see how this link is coming out? I don't like that. I wouldn't want that to like snag someone. I think we're gonna have to put this in the craft jar. We haven't made a craft jar today. Guess what we're naming her? Rachel. You know how I like Rachel from Lily Works, so I thought I'd name a jar after her. So this is our first deposit in our Rachel craft jar. Almost forgot to make a craft jar this time. Okay, we have a ring, butterfly ring, very beautiful. I didn't notice those crystals on there before. It does have some wear, so it looks to be sterling over copper. I don't know if you can redo that. I do not know, but the crystals are beautiful. Butterfly is pretty. I just think it's gonna have to go in our craft jar. Now, sometimes when you see copper, just a little bit of copper, it could be a hue to the sterling but in this case it's not it's coming through okay i never did figure out what this is i tried it looks like really old like hobie vintage um, rhinestones because hobie did theirs this way that are wrapped in this mesh type of a chain and I think something led me to believe this was sterling. I don't know, but we're gonna check it together to see if it's on sterling. Yeah, that's why I thought it was, because it's marked 925. But I have no idea what this is. Can you please tell me? What do you guys think? Have you ever seen anything like this? There is a little bit of a snag right here in it. So someone that knows what they're doing with jewelry you can probably tuck that in or fix it. Um, I really did Google search it. I did everything I could do to figure out what it is and I couldn't I couldn't find anything that was similar. So let's at least test for the sterling.
this side. Hmm, is that feeling like sterling to me? Not really. I'm too early to tell. It's a beautiful um, S-hook clasp. I hope it is sterling because it's really, oh yeah. I'm pretty sure this is. I don't know about the other side. So what I do is I go here and I look if there's any copper showing through and there is not. There is only silver showing through. So maybe I should test this part because what I tested before, yeah, what I tested on this line is this edge right here, that tiny little, which is part of this. So to me, that would tell me if that's sterling. Looks to me like that's sterling and maybe this is, but I don't think this part is. Let me just test this side too. Doesn't make sense to, but I'll do it anyway. Looks a little more brown and brassy when I'm testing it to the stone. Okay, let's see what we got. We use our 18 karat testing solution. If it's sterling, it will turn blue. And the first two, hmm, first two have spots of blue in it. So I may have to do it again. Sometimes you have to get through the patina in order to test something correctly. So let's try it again. I know I have to be brave. I'm very shy with the jewelry and I don't like to do these kinds of tests, but if we're going to know if it's sterling, we have to sometimes pick a good spot and go for it. All right, let's try again, because there's some spots of blue in these, and I know on the camera, it looks like my finger's so close to the acid that it's really not. It's like this far away, but I noticed that when I watched my videos back again, just to check on them, that it looks like I'm so close to the acid. But I'm not, just letting you know that we're being very safe with it. You stay over there, Miss Percy. Okay, I got that end part again. And it turns blue and then goes away. So it has some silver in it. The hook clasp, hmm. Oh yeah, it's definitely turning blue. I don't want to mess with my camera's setting, so hope you can see the blue in that right there yep so see we had to get through the the patina in order to test it so be careful when you're testing for sterling that you don't think something is not when it is because you just need to find a good spot to get through to the to the sterling sorry for the noise I always like to get another wipey and, oh, here's my microphone in case you guys are wondering what I've been using. I'll clip it back on my shirt. But I like to um, keep the wipey close by, make sure I don't get acid on myself, and clean the board off when I can. So that's that. I am curious as to whether this mesh part is sterling too, so I'm tempted to do a quick test on that. Why not? We don't know what this is already, so we might as well see if the mesh part is. You know what? I, I can't because I don't want to squish it, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. We do know we have a beautiful sterling silver clasp. Maybe someone put that on there got bead balls on it. I mean, this alone is a very beautiful piece. If no one wants the necklace, maybe I'll just take that off and resell it or something. But if you do like the necklace, you know what this is, please do share. And I'm going to say for the clasp alone, let's say 25 and see what happens. Okay, thanks for 
sticking with me while I tested that and going through the whole process. Okay, what have we got here? Looks like some remnants from my untangling video. It's a gold tone necklace. Um, oh, it's got all kind of things happening. It does still have some tangles, but let's just see. It has a lobster clasp. Looks like different levels, some rings, a circle ring, and then this little pendant on the bottom. I don't want to take up the time to untangle it, but it's not a bad one. It'll come right out. You get the idea. It's gold tone. Um, it is I'm trying to measure to that first 16 inches to the first. 18 inches to the second and then 24 to the third. It's in great shape. There's no wear to the metal and I'll say five dollars on that. Once you get it straightened out it'll look pretty. Okay and what have we here? A tree pendant. Not seeing any marks. Looks like maybe you could wear it either way, shiny or sort of antique gold. Not sure. It does have a slight magnet. Um, I'll say a dollar on that. And then we have a very pretty tassely silver tone necklace. It has a lobster clasp. Look at the great condition this is in, too. That's nice. I mean, if you're going to have a piece of jewelry, isn't it nice that it's in good condition? So we've got some filigree and a beautiful tassel. Has some good weight to it. Feels very quality. It's 24 inches to here. And then the tassel is another 3-4 inches. So I'll say 5 on that. Pretty piece. Oh, this is a lovely, lovely piece. I remember this a little bit. Look at the rhinestones. Isn't that gorgeous? The one on the bottom isn't magnificent, but let's see if it cleans up a little bit. Oh yeah, it looks much better. So it just needs itself a little bath. Love the colors. So you have like a amethyst color citrine color, blue topaz color, and this is a very orangey, and then the sort of light blue on the bottom. Oh my, isn't that pretty? Gold chain, gold tone, and does have a maker. Is that loft? I believe so. So it is a quality loft piece, and it's an older piece on the spring ring. Wow, that's gorgeous. And Taylor Loft, is that the same as Loft? I would think so. This is a beautiful wide drop necklace. Come on, what do you think, Buster? What do you think of the wide drop? You gotta give these girls some charm and show them what you got. It's kind of, you know, Buster wearing a necklace, but we needed to give him a name, so we're going to try Buster and see how it goes. Isn't that gorgeous? I really am loving it. That would be fun to wear, definitely. It's good to know it's a loft piece, gold tone chain. And again, the metal is in beautiful condition. That is so nice to be able to say that. It is 32 inches long trying to think if you could connect you could connect the spring ring to anywhere along here but I'm not sure if you'd want to wonder how it would look if you doubled no probably not with the spring ring but anyway it's beautiful and I'm going to say 25 on that that's a lot of gorgeousness on the loft piece now this can you just die right now I mean, look at this piece of jewelry. What in the world, right? 
So I looked and I looked and there is, who was the designer that made one exactly like this? With the same texture on the back, everything, the, the safety chain's exactly the same. Oh, I can't think of it. Signer, it was a signer. And someone has one, I think on Etsy, exact bracelet. It was the only place I found a signer bracelet, but I have not been able to find the name. I've not been able to find the signer signature. Is it worn down? I don't know. I think on hers it was signed on this part. I just don't know. I can't believe that all of this work would take place. This is what I mean about vintage jewelry. Look at how it's joined together. Look at the deepness of the metal. Everything's prong set. The enameling is fantastic. It's just around forever. This is true vintage jewelry. This is why we still love it. And this is why it's still around. So I don't know what to say on this. I think it's an unsigned signer piece, or I'm just not finding the signature, but to even have the safety clasp is magnificent. Now it does have some stones missing. Um, I'm not seeing them now, but I know there's a few missing, maybe here. I'd have to really look at it again. Let's see if I can give you a quick rundown. Oh, no, that one's there. Where were they missing? I'm not seeing them now, but just know that there are some missing. Could be an unsigned signer piece. So let me know what you think. I need you guys sometimes to help me out here. I'm gonna show you the inside again, in case you wanna take a screenshot, because this is exactly the texture and everything of that other signer. Not gonna know what to put for a price because I don't want to say too much and scare people away. So why don't we just do the email thing on this one where the first person that emails me will be the first of interest and then we'll go from there. And as I learn more about it, maybe I'll have a better price. But oh my gosh, is it fabulous. Can you imagine wearing something like this? And I'm looking for my bracelet measurer. It must have, I was going to say it must have hopped off the table, and it really did. It was on the side of me. Wow, I mean, how do you measure that? Looks quite small, maybe six and a half or a six and a quarter. But, oh, like I said, can you imagine wearing that? It weighs a lot. So I hope you're enjoying seeing that. Let me know what you think about it. Some of the pieces are really hard to price, and I apologize. So I think we looked at this, maybe Indian jewelry. Um, if there's no interest in this, I do have a neighbor from Morocco, and she loves these pieces. So I'll give it to her, but I've given her quite a bit. She's not going to be heartbroken if I don't. Um, if you love it, you're welcome to it for $6. I think that's a wooden bead and the tassel. Nice gold tone on there. Okay, we have a bracelet. This is a nice piece. Safety chain again, spring ring clasp, signed Monet. Very different from the Monet that I see. Nice curb link chain, beautiful fold over clasp. Make sure it works. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is a push down. No. Okay, I, I don't want to hurt my nails, so let me try it this way. Yep, yeah, okay. So it's a fold over clasp, works great. It's nice and tight, if anything. And that's a beauty. I can't believe this jumped off the table again. Like I said, Different than the Monet's I've seen 
you know, run of the mill online. It looks to be seven inches. I think it's a beautiful piece. I love that clasp. I'm gonna say 18 on the Monet. Okay, we're almost down there. Um, we have, oh, that's an old clasp. I think they call that a sister clasp where you push it inward. Yeah. So let's see, I'm not seeing any marks on the chain. It is a herringbone. Let's see how it cleans up. Ooh, look at that. All I'm doing is just one pass with the with the um, polishing rag. So that's gonna clean up beautifully. Yes, it will. Okay, let's just test with the magnet. Slight magnet, beautiful, very vintage herringbone. It is 20 inches, oh, gorgeous. And I'll say 12 on that. Okay, I think this came off as something. Um, we had something else like that. I think I'm just gonna put this in the craft jar. Poor little David, thank you, David. Okay, this piece was, I need your help. I searched, I Google searched. This is a Mexican sterling silver bracelet with all this inlay, it's absolutely stunning, but I don't know what that picture is. I don't know what to call it. So I'm stuck on this piece, but it's marked inside. Mexico. It is sterling. It's so beautiful. But I don't know what to say because I don't have any comps to go by. Um, let me know what you think. I'm thinking, should I test it? Should I just let you comment about it? Um, let's just test it because I don't want to, um, I don't want to go off with too many things not available. Let's see. You don't want to test near the clasp because you don't want to compromise that. Let's try right here. It's definitely appearing sterling to me because I'm not seeing any other darker colors or anything like that. It's beautiful. I just don't know what that picture is. I don't know what I'm doing with Google search. I think there's something wrong with my ability to Google search. And that did not stay just now. So it's probably a good thing I am doing this. Let's unclasp this. Have a look at what it says again. And let me look in the loop because it's very worn. It looks like someone really loved it. You know, it might be alpaca. But I can't, I can't tell. I know it says Mexico. I don't know what it says above it. So let me try one more time. Make sure it's not patina issue. And it could just be alpaca, the other metal that they use, which is also very collectible and beautiful. I have a couple of pieces like that. Um, nothing wrong with that at all, but we need to know if it's sterling. It's a very white color. Hmm. I guess it's not sterling. Yeah, I guess not. Maybe alpaca. Hi guys, just dropping in a minute to let you know how to purchase. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Give me the video name and episode number, the timestamps, Brief descriptions and prices. Thank you. So I don't want to belabor this, but I think possibly it's alpaca. Just couldn't really read the um, the wording in the bracelet because it's been well loved. So I still don't know what the design is. It's still gorgeous. Let's do a measurement on it. Oops, let me close it first. It does clasp very nicely. 
It's not one of those that can come off. It's got good pressure, if you know what I mean. And it looks to be about a size six and three quarters. Maybe it's sitting on the seven, but. And I'm just gonna say 25 on that. So pretty. Okay, we have one more magnetic. Um, oh, cute. It's got a bunch of rhinestones in there. Gunmetal. That's a cute little bracelet. I'll say $4 on that. Not seeing anything that goes on our torque. And what are you? Oh, this is that piece. Thank you all so much for helping me with this. Remember I was saying I have no idea how to clasp this, like I'm either totally ignorant or something. This is one of those pieces they sell that was attached to a garment. So for those of you who don't know what these are, now we do. Woohoo! Thank you everyone for sharing. So I guess this would clip to some buttons or something. I mean, I don't know, let's put it in the craft jar. It's wearable and it's beautiful, nothing wrong with it. But let's put it in there. What else, what else? I do have some more things to show you, but I am going to finish up the craft jar or add to it a little bit. We have some RNC bead earring, a RNC bead earring. This was in this bag, but it has a missing stone, so. I took it out to put in here. It does have a fold over clasp. Let's see, these stones are, they are jade. So you've got a bracelet with jade stones on it. There's Miss Prissy showing you up to the jade. And it's just missing one. So that's a beautiful find. Maybe you could do something wonderful with that. This piece I remember from untangling. The crystal is beautiful. It's heart shape. Can't remember why I put it in crafting. Oh, I can remember. It's got some wear on the chain. This chain is a vintage. It's broken on that little piece on the end. This I showed, oh gosh, a long time ago. Someone fell in love with it and asked me for it, but then I didn't hear from them again. It's just beautiful. The chain's nothing, but the piece itself is pretty. We have some pieces of earrings. Looks like a lovely glass. This is glass. Necklace. Um, what was my issue? Maybe the chain had a little wear? I don't know, but that's gorgeous. I wonder if that's shell. I don't know. This piece might be acrylic, but the glass pieces are beautiful. Oh, there's my reason. See, I need to trust myself. There's some copper showing through. So that's some beautiful glass beads. I want to move along here. This is some glass and acrylic. Looks like a necklace that gave way. It's got some cording on there. This is some brand new cording, two pieces. If you wanted to make a necklace and needed some cording, that's a brand new one. This one's more like leather, the other is more like suede. Okay, we'll just, we'll deal with that after. This is an older leather bracelet, has some wear to it. Maybe the components are good, I don't know. You guys know what you're doing. We have some very pretty, the limited, oh, here we go again. The limited tiny seed beads, pretty blue color. All right, we need to get you down in there, dude. Down in the Rachel craft jar. I'm thinking of writing it on a white piece of paper instead so we could see it better. And another cord that's brown, gold tone. Looks like there's a maker, no, it's a little heart on it. Okay, and these beautiful crystals that I keep putting in the jars for you guys. It must be from a really old chandelier because the findings are all brass and they're just stunning. They're gorgeous. Oh, if you make something out of that, please do let me know. That's stunning. So I hope you love that. 
This is so cute, isn't it? It's on a silver tone chain with a tassel. What else? An earring. Dangleys. I hope you like those crystals and some other earrings with some enamel. And check this out. Isn't that beautiful? This is black faceted glass. I'm not sure what it came off of, but it's beautiful. Maybe make some earrings. Again, if you make something out of that, please do share. I would love to see that. Gold tone, hammered gold tone. Uh, different earrings. Some filigree, some different shapes. Some multicolored chain earring. Another hoop. Silver tone. This is an older clip-on. I think there was only one. Sweet. And that piece. We have some acrylic faceted, very bright blue pieces. We have... Um, it says Italy on the back. I know it's a religious piece. Um, didn't look into that as much. Um, earring that's just mushed a little bit. Now, I'm wondering if that magnets because sometimes if it's hollow like this, it can be real gold. Um, not seeing any markings. But if it's gold, that's good for you. Okay, um, that doesn't need to go in there. It's an earring back. Okay, I have these little beads that are, hmm, how do I describe them? Well, there's some gold ones and some, they're just like faux pearls. I think they're glass, so I'm going to put a bunch of those in there. I'm just going to dump them all in there. I really thought we'd get to the very top of the jar. But you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. I say that as I grab other things. Okay, we have three or four bracelets that say some things on them. They're in great condition. Nothing wrong with them. And the little cactus necklace. So I'll put some bubble wrap on the top of that. This is our Rachel jar. I hope you love it. There's some new and some old and some crystal. Do $20 on that. And the craft jars go quickly, and I love that. I'm glad that you all are enjoying them. I'm not sure if we have time for earrings. This brooch um, has seen better days. I could, I'm could. i going to put that in the craft jar. So that fits on the top of it. Okay, we have our Jelly Belly type pearlescent brooch. Um don't think this was marked, but I do want to offer it to you all. It's got the red eyes, gold tone. It's in fantastic condition. Oh, you know what? I think some of you asked me about this. And I didn't have a price, so I think that's okay. There was no price given. Um, it's so hard to remember everything, guys. I try to write down everything everyone wants on a piece of paper, but if you asked me for this previously, let me know. Um, they sell pretty well. I'm going to say 25 and then just let me know if you were first and I will honor that. I hope I didn't start a ruckus. Okay, this is solid sterling. It's beautiful bead ball necklace. I have been looking for one, but it's a little bit too choker for me. Um, 925 Italy. And it's marked KC. I couldn't find anything about KC, but it's substantial and it's very heavy. It measures... Um, I have my tape measure taped to the table now. It measures 16 inches. And you know what? I'll give you a weight on that because that's important when it comes to sterling. Ding, ding. Click the bell. Subscribe. Okay, here we go. I will set this on 
grams. And it weighs, oops, 24.1 grams bead ball sterling silver necklace. And I'm going to say, um, let's do 50 on that. Let's do 48, $48 on the solid sterling silver bead ball. Okay, I want to show you something from another, it was a little box that I got. And I didn't want to show the whole box because it was small, but take a look at this. Isn't that stunning? This is a Koro, and I am in love. I am absolutely smitten with this bracelet. See the signature on the back? Oh my gosh. Can you even deal? I'd have to switch over to like gold tone bracelets to wear it, but I really want to. It's stunning. It's beautiful. And the other exciting thing is this, this ring. It's one of those spinner rings. But this is actually 14 karat gold and diamonds. So this is going to really help me pay my bills. I'm excited about this. I took it to the jeweler to get a total diamond weight of it. Now, this is not from the 21 pound box. I just want to let you know. These two pieces I'm just showing you because I'm really excited about them that I got from a different small box. And I went to the jeweler for this. He did give me a total carat weight. He's writing up an appraisal and then I'll put that on eBay. But isn't that pretty? So that's exciting. I really needed that help financially and God is so good. Okay, back to our 21 pound box. We have this little elephant. Everything is there, the little red eye trunk is up. It has a little sort of copper hue going on. That's usually when I test something for sterling, but I don't know, it's not signed. Let's see, it's not magneting. Sometimes instead of a full blown test, I can just Put a little bit on the stone. Oh, it's actually looking silver under there. Maybe we should test this. I'd be surprised, but it could be, um, could be Vermeer. I mean, I don't know. Take a quick look anyway. Hmm. don't know. Try it again. No, I think it's not. It's funny though that it's really staying. Maybe it's just gold over a, um, a silver tone metal. We'll try a little bit more because I've got to get brave. Not really blue blue, but it's not going anywhere. This one's turning more blue as I as I speak. Hmm. This might actually be Vermeer over Sterling. I'm really thinking it is because that's turning. So I don't want to take a bunch of time here. Something I'm gonna to have to look back and forth at the loop and do testing. I thought I was just going to throw a price out, but let's see what this is. Could be nothing, so I will test that further. This piece, it's very sad because it's breaking. There's another piece to it somewhere. Um, here it is. So it's all these layers and gorgeous prong set crystals. This part's coming out. So I don't know what to say. Maybe I'll put it to the next craft jar. It's so old and it's so stunning. There's a crystal missing there. If you can't wait for the next craft jar and you really want this piece to do something with, I will say $7 for that. It's a beauty. And if not, then I will put it next craft jar. We do have this brooch, the double flower, and then that cute little rhinestone there. It's silver tone. It's got some good age to it. They're kind of smoky crystals. 
love that little spinning part right there too. So it's so sweet. Marquee style. Look at all the prongs that are on those smaller stones. Isn't that nice? It's a good quality brooch. I'll say 15 on that. Okay, this guy I had to research for quite a while. Look at those oak leaves and the, um, oh, can't even think of it. They're all over here in Massachusetts. Oh, it's going to bother me. Okay, never mind. I'll think of it. It's marked SAC, and I did look that up. I didn't put a little sticky on it, but I do have all the information on who made this. It's an old piece. It is. Very well made. Look at the details in it. And I'm going to say 16 on this. And I'll share that name with you if you're interested in that piece. Okay, we thought that maybe this was a Stella and Dot, and I never did get to do a Google search. It's just so much to do. Um, but I think we saw this in, I don't know, episode one or two. It is very lovely. It does have a lot going on. It does look very Stella and Dot, doesn't it? And I'm going to say um, $13 on that. That's quite a piece for sure. Big chain. It's 18 inches with an extender of about 3 inches. So that's that. We're getting down to the wire. We have this bracelet that I remembered later is a goldette with the elephants and the crystals. Someone called it a slide bracelet, and it is, but it has the goldette um, moon, crescent moons on the clasp. So that's that one, and this I will say, um, let's do 15 on the vintage goldette. And it's measuring about six to six and a quarter. So that's that one. Okay, what's left? Um, someone was interested in this brooch, and I tried to give a price. Um, I think they passed on it, so I'm making it available to the rest of you. It's stunning. Look at the prongs in there. The crystals are magnificent. It doesn't look messed with. You know how some of these pieces look like someone stuck a different stone in? It looks all original, but I'm not an expert. It does have all that delicious layering. And I'll say 23 on that. Let me know what you think. This ring we have someone interested in, but I can't find a thing. Can you guys help me? It has turquoise-looking enamel. Rhinestones on the side. It has the cabochon on the top. The cabochon's acrylic. The rest of it is all crystals, and this is what it looks like inside. I have worked so hard for hours trying to find what this is and what a couple of the other things are, and I can't. So, can you help? I love you all. I really need that help. Thanks so much. This cute brooch with the fold over leaf. Really good gold tone um, finish on it. And I will say $6 on that. Super good condition. This, <laughs> we had a good time because it was something stuck to the, the ball part of it. Um, I love that. I love that sound. I think the chain, even though it's vintage with the spring ring, that it magnets, yep, but the bell doesn't. It's very hard to see if there's a mark because there's so much texture all over the bell. So I did want to test it while I was with you here. Okay, where can we do that? Let's do up here on this part. Because it looks, it really looks and feels sterling. But sometimes the eyes can deceive or the patina can get in the way of what you're seeing. Oops, I just bumped into you. Did you guys go for a good ride there? Not seeing any um, discoloration underneath. 
And then I'll take a little test of the bell itself because the other test was at the very top of it. Okay, I'm getting brave so that I don't not get through the patina. Boy, my phone is bouncing. I hope it fixes itself later. Okay, come on, come on, let's get going. We got other bags to open and fun things to do. Oh yeah, it's definitely solid sterling. Okay, I'm getting better at this. I love it. Um, it's heavy. I can't say I'm ready to sell it, but I did want to show that to you. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with that. If I was to sell it, I would want to definitely put it on a beautiful silver chain, but look how blue that is. That's some gorgeous, gorgeous sterling. Maybe it's even a higher, a higher metal. I don't know. I would have to have some kind of special test to know that, but that really turned very blue. So isn't that awesome? That's a really heavy, beautiful bell. Someone just stuck it on that chain. It does match it, but this is definitely magnetic. So we'll see about that. I think we're done. I think we're done. There is a Pandora bracelet. I tried to price this too. I have no idea. It is real. It says Pandora here. All the wording here. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? When you look up Pandora, you find, oh, so many things. This is at six and a half to six and three quarters. Um, I'm going to say 52, 52 on that Pandora. Okay, um, should we throw in a few earrings really quickly? Because then we'll be done with this box. Okay, we have, oh, this is another one. I'm really needing your help. It has this type of a mark on it, and it says RO, but I can't find that logo anywhere. Um... I don't even know what that note says. I don't think, no, they're not magnetic at all. I was maybe gonna test them, but before I do, I thought maybe we could look at what that is. It's not Ralph Lauren, so sorry about that. These need to be fixed. These are Vermeil, Verme, sorry. Um, they are gold over sterling, and they are Peridot's. Are those gorgeous? But I have to fix this one. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had some earrings for you, but I was forgetting there was a few issues with these. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is exciting. These say um, VSL, which is Yves Saint Laurent. So these were very exciting to find. Uh, they're on like a gunmetal type color, and they go for, yeah, 100 to 150. So if you love them, and you want the clip-ons, Eve Saint Laurent, I'll do 85 on those, see what you think. So I better put those there. The rest of these, I think there's some issue or two. So I'll put those back, and I'll figure that out. And that's it. We're done with this part. I would really be happy if you would consider subscribing to the channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I don't do any editing. I'm trying to learn. So this is my big, you know, subscribe button that goes along the screen. Hope you like it. Click the bell on your way out. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And look in the comment section. I'm sorry, in the description section if you want to know how to purchase jewelry, okay? So thank you so much. I'm gonna go work on my thumbnail. Take these off so I can work on my thumbnail. And make a really pretty picture so that when you come back, you will be able to say, I saw that video, I remember those pieces. So I'll do my job and I hope to see you in the comments and everywhere else and on the emails, okay? So thank you so much and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles.